What's going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to another Bible scripture video. Now, today we are privileged to be reading from the book of James, chapter 4, verse 15. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that, right? Now, this is something that actually has gone away with the passage of time, but it's something that when I was younger, I used to hear people say all the time, if it be God's will, God willing, see the quiere in Spanish. It's something that people actually were raised to know because it's biblical. But we don't do it as much anymore, and it's actually something we should get back into. Now, what this means, guys, is we should be dedicated to living out the instructions God gives us. We have submitted our lives to Him, which means that we are focused on what His plans for our lives are. Those are the only plans that are worth living out. They are the only plans that bring life. Now, I personally can attest to this, guys. This channel didn't even start growing at all until I started putting God's truth out there. When I was doing all the gaming and streaming and all that other stuff, I'd get little nickel and dime growth here and there, but it was never really anything that mattered. But now that I'm talking about Bible scripture, that I'm talking about God, that I'm talking about Jesus Christ and who he is as the truth, the way and the light, this channel has been growing exponentially and not because of me, but because of the glory that is for God. Now, having said that, guys, here is the prayer. And if you want to pray with me, please pray with me. You know that you're always welcome. And if not, that is fine, too. I will pray for you, your family, your friends, your health and your safety. But most of all, guys, that you understand that the only plans that are worth making are the plans that involve God. Dear God, I have dedicated my life to living out your will for me. Father, I pray that I will always be able to be attentive to your instructions and walk in obedience. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Guys, understand that no matter what we do as people, we are not adding to our own salvation. We are only serving out of obedience and gratefulness for the sacrifice that the great Jesus Christ made so that we can enter the kingdom of heaven and be reunited with the Father. Had it not been for that, we would stand no chance. And having a relationship with Christ means turning away from a life of sin and living a life of repentance. It is a lifestyle change that is coming forth, not because you have to, but because you're using your willpower and because you want to so that you can please God. As always, guys, be safe, be good, be blessed. I'll see you when I see you. And remember, tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. Have a good one, guys.